Without water, people, animals and plants die. Life simply cannot exist. That's why the Prophet Wasallam said the best charity is a drink of water. And that's why I'm raising money to bring water to Gambia. We have already created 16 boreholes with your help. Alhamdulillah, it's now gone up to 45. In remote villages, not wells that the old and the weak struggle with, boreholes that can be accessed by the turning of a tap. Donate using the link in the description. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Let's play this clip of I Show Speed and see what he said about the mosque. Build a mosque in your city or build a water well in Africa. Build a mosque in your city or water well in Africa. They're, they're both good. Water well. Probably water, yeah, water well. One million dollars or memories the whole Quran. Memories the whole Quran. Java socket exception donated five dollars through super chat. Follow Israel or follow me. I'm following you. Frankly, I agree with him, and as a Muslim, most of us will agree with him who have knowledge that is as well. Now let me tell you why. Because in Islam, you can pray to God anywhere you want, as long as. Of course it's clean, it's not disturbing others and there are a few other conditions as well. But unlike other faiths who are dependent upon a specific place to worship or that require specific equipment to worship, if you look at Islam and Muslims, we are different in this regard. In the hadith it says the entire earth has been made as a place of prayer for us. In other words, if you are in the park, you don't have a prayer mat, you just need some water for the ritual ablution and then you put your jacket down, obviously after determining which direction the Kaaba is and then that's it. You're done. Even if let's just say you are on the motorway, just pull up at the service station. As long as you've done your ritual ablution, that's it mate. Just find a place that you're not going to disturb others and then you can pray. No problem. If you've got a prayer mat handy, that's a bonus. Otherwise, you can just put your jacket down or anything that will render where you put your head clean. Now the reason why this is so amazing and actually an evidence for Islam because this actually shows us how Islam is indeed for everybody. Reason being because if you needed specific equipment, now there are certain complications that arise with that. Number one, what if that equipment is out of stock? Does that mean that you can't worship God now? Like the idols or candles or certain, you know, mixtures, whatever it may be. On top of that, what if they, the shops are located in certain areas but you're in a remote area? Does that mean you can't worship God anymore? Or number three, inflation, the economy. What if you are of a certain economic position and let's just say you want to worship. You go to the shop, the price has gone up for that particular idol mate. It's problematic now. So Islam is something that transcends all of that. You can't be at the mercy of individuals that are going to help facilitate your prayer. You can do it yourself, you know what I mean? Even if you're in a remote place somewhere, you don't need expensive, unattainable equipment. And I'm sure we'd agree that in many places there are enough mosques. In fact, <laughs> the building of extra mosques is actually due to internal politics. Yeah, you've got a certain nationality that wants to make a certain mosque or certain whatever. You don't really need that many mosques. Yeah, one in a specific locality is enough and that will encourage people to put their differences aside and learn to get along. The more mosques you have, the more you're saying, you know what, you've got differences, just, just start a new mosque. Yeah, and some mosques, they don't need to make it that grand. Yeah, you can use that money again for things that are actually needed. It reminds me of a saying that back in the days, the, the mosques were unbaked. They were made from unbaked clay, but the people that emerged from them were baked. Today the mosques are baked but the people that emerge from them are unbaked. And that's why guys, although I show speed was talking about a well, watch this and I'll tell you why a well is not the way to go anymore. The way to go is a borehole because boreholes are much more practical. Have a listen. 
Imagine having to do this every single day. And all of that for half a bucket of water. And that's why here at Spot, we are creating boreholes. Fresh drinking water for the whole village, all with the turning of a tap. Make sure you donate today. Indeed, and that is why I am raising money for boreholes in the Gambia. We've already done 42, <laughs> you know what I mean? And each borehole is catering for thousands of people, yeah, that can go many times a day just turning over tap. You don't need to send an adult. Kids can go there, fill a bucket and bring it home. It's much more practical, you know what I mean? Think about it. Taps in our homes, anyone can go, you know what I mean? Just turn the tap and use it. And the beauty of Spot is they don't just make it and leave it, they also maintain it. They go do their checks, make sure it's still running. In fact, they've got a minimum date of at least 20 years that they'll make sure that it is fully functioning and working. It's a small charity, they're transparent and they make sure they get the job done. You know what I mean? The bigger the charities, unfortunately, it's not practical for them to be that involved to that capacity. And that's why, alhamdulillah, every Ramadan, I'm supporting Spot and we are seeing the effects. I, in fact, I went and visited some boreholes the whole day. The whole day we were just driving and we only managed to see three. So that's a, that's, that's a good job, frankly. It shows that it's being put in really remote places. Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.